Good evening, and thank you for the opportunity to share my thoughts with you as you go about your cup match preparations. This is an exciting time of year, and the uniqueness of our Bermudian culture is wonderful to witness and is exemplified in the scene here at the Somerset Cricket Club. The celebrations we call cup match have important historical significance. In one weekend, we mark two critical chapters in our island story. Summer's Day remembers our accidental settlement by the British sailors bound for the American colonies, while Emancipation Day recalls the end of slavery in the British Empire. This is a true Bermuda story as it speaks to our ability to celebrate our diverse backgrounds and history, respect our individual traditions, and emerge united, determined to celebrate our common bonds and not exploit our differences. In the midst of all that cup match has become, it is important to remember that we never lose sight of just how critical these two events have been to our history and our development. Our British heritage is preserved in the constitutional arrangements and especially in the cricket that forms the central focus of this holiday weekend. The struggle for dignity of all people that was a promise of emancipation is a principle that can still guide us today. The monument to that struggle, like the designation of Mary Prince as a national hero, and the unbowed representation of Sally Bassett in the grounds of the cabinet office still speak to us of the significance of freedom for all people. Bermuda today continues to emerge from an economic storm that has affected us for a sustained period. Recovery is slow and relief sometimes seems far off. Our celebrations this year also take place against the backdrop of the recent tragedies on our roads. With so much facing us as a people, the lessons of our history is that solutions lie in unity. Like many of you, I have supported the Family Center's annual fundraising campaign in partnership with Clarion Bank and proudly wear the team's colors of ribbons that they have provided. The campaign's message this year features two beautiful young ladies, each supporting a different cup match team. And the all important tagline is, but they are the best of friends. That is the true spirit of Bermuda. That is who we've always been, fierce rivals on the field of play in whatever arena, but stronger in unity than in division. And as we celebrate this cup match, my hope is that we can carry that spirit in which we celebrate this holiday and the cup match classic beyond this long weekend. We can and should inject it into how we deal with each other. I believe that we all want what is best for Bermuda. Our disagreements mean that we have different views on how to achieve this. One friend of mine is a staunch supporter of St. George's, and when I asked him what he thought might happen in this year's game, his reply was simple. I don't even care who wins, as long as we get a result. That's always good for the game. And although he was talking about cricket, that is what we should want for Bermuda, results that are good for all of us. And so, as the excitement builds towards Thursday and Friday, I encourage everyone to enjoy the holiday to the fullest, but do so safely. If you drink, please do not drive. Take care of your children as they enjoy the beach or swimming off the rocks. Enjoy camping, fellowship with family and friends, but above all, support your team and proudly wear your colors. Let us all enjoy cup match time in Bermuda. Thank you, have a pleasant evening, and I look forward to seeing you at Somerset.